Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to go over how to back up your Tatum's data. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. One of them is to just make a copy of the default data file and put it on an external USB drive or an um, external hard drive or even on a network drive. And in this particular copy of Tatum's, we've got it installed on Windows 7, a 64-bit version of Windows 7. And you can see here that the data path here is C program files x86 Tatum's 2005 Tatum's 2005 be.mdb you can also see that path here by clicking on tools and networking and you can see that data path here in a non 64 bit system this x86 in parentheses here will not be there it'll just look like this with C program files Tatum's 2005 Tatum's 2005 be.mdb unless your data is on a network drive on a server file server of some sort over to networking and for you to find this folder on your hard drive there's a fairly easy way to do it if you just highlight everything up to but not including the file name which is at the end here with the MDB on the end I'm gonna copy that and then we're gonna close that and now I'm gonna go over here to the start menu and just paste this in here and press enter and that brings up my folder now the file here that we need to back up is that file right there the Tatum's 2005 be.mdb um, typically the file extensions are hidden so in order to make sure that you can see those file extensions that dot mdb on the end you should go over here to organize click on organize this is on Windows Vista or Windows 7 folder and search options you click that and then click view and then down here it says hide extensions for known file types make sure that is unchecked if I check this click apply click OK you can see the dot MDB has disappeared so I'm gonna go back over there and redisplay it click on organize folder and search options view and then I uncheck hide extensions for known file types click apply click OK and now we can see the dot MDB on the end now this file here Tatum's 2005 BE dot MDB is the file that stores all the data and we want to copy that to our external source in this case is going to be this Kingston uh, USB drive it's a little four gigabyte and but before we copy that file to that USB drive we want to close Tatum's first and we, we can tell that Tatum's is open because we have this other file here with the same name except it has a dot LDB at the end of it so once I close Tatum's that dot LDB file is going to disappear so let me close Tatum's now the dot LDB file disappeared so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this file the Tatum's 2005 BE dot MDB I'm going to right click on it I'm going to choose copy don't ever choose cut because that'll remove it from the folder choose copy and now I'm going to go down to my Kingston um, USB drive and today is Thursday so I'm going to paste this in here to Thursday what I've done is I've created um, folders for each day of the week that way if you accidentally copy a bad get a bad copy of Tatum's from one day you can go to the previous day so you can always go back a day or two just in case you need to for some reason okay so now we're going to go over and take a look at the backup and compact feature from within Tatum's and I'm going to go back over to the folder we were just in. I'm going to go ahead and start Tatum's backup. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a backup and compact. So I click on Tools and then Backup and Compact and then click Start. You don't want to interrupt this uh, in the middle of a backup and compact, otherwise, you're going to end up losing of the ability to connect to your default data file and I'll show you how to correct that if that happens to you so uh, click uh, compact completed click OK and say no here because that's just a check for reminders and then that disappears so we've, we've done the backup and compact now to go look and see what we've done let's go back over to our Tatum's folder and we can see here this file with a date time stamp in the file name so we have the Tatum's 2005 BE and then 3-24-2011-1808 so that's uh, March 24th 2011 at 1808 that's military time which is 609 p.m. and what you can do with these is the same thing you can just simply 
drag these or copy these um, off to your external hard drive or external USB drive just like that that way if your um, hard drive crashes you're gonna have a backup copy that's called a point in time backup so every time you do one of these compact and repair from within Tatums it's gonna create a point in time backup and it's gonna put the date and the time in the file name so if you need to go back and use this file at some point in the future you need to remove the date and the time stamp from the file name and then you can link up to it I'm not going to do that here because we have that file with the same name here already in the same folder when you do a backup and compact from within Tatums the file the backup file is always saved in the same folder where the original file is where the default file is so if this file was sitting on a server and you were linked to a server then this backup file would be created in the same folder um, that's one of the limitations of Tatums and so you just want to make sure that you get those um, point in time backups off of the uh, place where uh, you've copied it to or you've created it and put it off to an external or a different source so that you don't have everything sitting on the same hard drive hopefully that makes sense for you but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when the backup and compact fails okay so now we're linked up to T Tatum's 2005 uh, BE.MDB let me close that and we'll go ahead and look at that particular folder and that's this folder down here and we can see that we have Tatum's open because that ha we have that LDB file that's showing up in the same folder and this is a way if you're on a network um, with multiple people in Tatum's you can determine if somebody else is in Tatum's at that time so you want to make sure that before you do the backup and compact or copy from the network location to say a USB drive that that LDB file is not showing up in that folder um, so let's go and uh, do a backup and compact here Oh, and we got an error so what happened is um, we're getting an error message telling us that it's unable to open the, the file the backup file that we created so I'm gonna say no to this I'm gonna close that we're gonna close Tatum so now when we open up folder you'll notice we only have the uh, the backup file but we don't have the original data file and what happens when the backup and compact is created uh, with Tatum's is it renames the original file and it puts the date timestamp in the file name and then it copies that all that information into the original file name so if I go here and now this is a, we had a failure during the backup and compact so we're going to remove the date timestamp from the file name so everything after the E and before the dot here so I'm going to delete that and now we've got the original file name back it's called Tatum's 2005 BE.MDB. Now we'll open up Tatum's. No problem. Now we're linked up to that same file on the T drive. So that's how you take care of a backup and compact that fails. And that can happen on a network. And sometimes it happens because the network is just not capable of handling that kind of traffic. And so you're going to have to resort to a different method of backing up your Tatum's data. And usually if that data is on a server, you're using some sort of a backup regimen already. If you're not, you can use the other technique that I showed you before, and you can just copy this, make sure Tames is closed, right click, choose copy, go to your external hard drive, your external USB drive, and then paste it in. Hopefully that makes sense for you. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks a lot. Take care.